Do you want to be able to navigate interactions in the gym with ease in German? Or would you like to connect with people there and make new friends? Not sure how? Then this video is for you. The gym is probably one of the best places to connect with people and find new friends. You meet people that have the same interests as you and who are driven and disciplined individuals, otherwise they wouldn't be there, which I personally appreciate a lot. Having lived as an expat myself in different countries, the gym has always been my go-to place to make new connections. Because let's be honest, it can get quite lonely sometimes moving to a new country and starting life completely from scratch. And I've made a whole video about how to make new friends in Germany in general, which you can check out next if that's something you're interested in as well. And if you're new here, hallo und herzlich willkommen. My name is Salome and I'm a native German teacher from Frankfurt. And on this channel, Speak Fluent German, I teach practical everyday life German. So if that's something you need, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload something new. All right, let's get started with some gym vocabulary first that you can add later into your sentences based on your personal needs. Then you'll learn some practical phrases and at the end we'll take a look at some real life examples as well. So make sure to stick around for that. Also, bist du bereit? Los geht's! So first of all, the German word for the gym is das Fitnessstudio. And yes, we do spell it with three S's. So if you want to say, I'm going to the gym today, you can say, ich gehe heute ins Fitnessstudio. Or you can also say, ich gehe heute ins Training. I'm going to the training today is what it literally means. And you can probably tell the word das Training stems from the English training. We just pronounce it the German way. Das Training. So here are 10 more vocabs that you'll need for the gym. Die Bank. Die Langhantel. Die Kurzhantel, das Kreuzheben, das Bankdrücken, die Kniebeuge, das Laufband, der Satz oder Plural die Sätze, die Wiederholung oder Plural die Wiederholungen. Next, we're going to dive into some useful phrases to navigate different kinds of situations in the gym. So if someone is using a machine or a piece of equipment and you want to know how much longer they are going to take or how many more sets they have left, you can ask, wie viele Sätze hast du noch? Wie viele Sätze hast du noch? If they still have quite a lot of sets left and you want to know if you could take turns, you'll need the verb sich abwechseln, which means to alternate or to take turns. Können wir uns abwechseln? Sich abwechseln is a reflexive verb. In German, reflexive verbs are verbs where the subject and the object of the action are the same. When you use a reflexive verb, the subject performs the action on itself. And for these verbs, you'll need a so-called reflexive pronoun. This is what the function uns here has in this sentence. If this kind of grammar topic is still a bit too advanced for you and you feel like you need to get started with the basics first, such as sentence structure, for example, I highly recommend my free training for beginners. It's a 60 minute value packed lesson and it's the best place to get started with learning German in a structured way. Now, if you need help with your set and you want someone to spot you, you can simply say, kannst du mich spotten? Can you spot me? A spotten is a verb we have borrowed from the English language. You'll find that a lot of the gym lingo in German is borrowed from English, like for example, das pre-workout, der booster, das kreatin, das rack, which most likely has something to do with nowadays social media and this English speaking fitness influences. It's gotten a lot more international and the language adapted to it. Some of these do have a German equivalent, like for example, another word for das Rack is die Kraftstation or the Hantelablage. But to be honest, nobody uses these words unless they're like older generations, for example. Another important side note with the word spotten is that you definitely want to pronounce the SP like in English and not like in German, because there is the German word spotten with the sp sound, which means to make fun of someone. So don't mix these up. Uh, the correct pronunciation of asking someone to spot you in the gym is kannst du mich 
this button. If you're not sure if someone needs a piece of equipment or is still using it and you want to know before you just grab it, you can say, brauchst du das? Do you need that? Or brauchst du das noch? Do you still need that? You can then exchange das in this case for any equipment in the gym. Like for example, brauchst du die Kurzhantel? Or if someone is working out on one side of the cable tower and you want to know if they need the other side, you can ask, brauchst du diese Seite? Do you need this side? Or another example, brauchst du die Bank? This is a very important phrase because sometimes people just use the bench for placing all of their stuff on it without actually using it. So I use this question a lot of times. All right, so here are five more phrases to help you navigate your next workout in German like a pro. Wo ist die Umkleide? Kann ich die Hantel benutzen? Hast du Tipps für meine Form? Ich brauche eine kurze Pause. Ich bin noch nicht fertig. Next, we're going to take a look at some phrases to help you start the conversation and make new friends in the gym. Or maybe you want to bring someone to the gym with you. In that case, you can say, Lass uns zusammen trainieren. Let's train together. Or if you want to phrase it as a question, you can ask, Hast du Lust zusammen zu trainieren? Hast du Lust means do you feel like it and it's a very useful phrase to pair with any kind of activity you want to ask someone to join. A good way to start a conversation in the gym with someone is to simply ask what they are going to train today. For this you can say, was trainierst du heute? You can also just ask someone for how long they have been training. Wie lange trainierst du schon? Or if you want to know if someone is training competitively, you can ask, trainierst du für einen Wettkampf? Der Wettkampf means the competition in German. Finding good whey protein in a new place can be a challenge because sometimes you just don't know what tastes good and what tastes like crap. So asking your gym buddy for recommendations could be a good idea. In that case, you can ask, Kannst du mir ein Proteinpulver empfehlen? Empfehlen means to recommend und das Proteinpulver is the protein powder. So if you're already in Germany and you have access to the German whey protein powders, my personal favorite is the ESN whey protein. And this is not sponsored, even though I wish it was. I just love their variety of flavors. They have a ton of interesting flavors and it used to be super cheap. Unfortunately, whey protein prices have just gone through the roof like everything else, but I guess that applies for any supplier. So in general, I still love their powder because it's very tasty and the macros are great. Too. By the way, if you're planning to train with someone and you're counting each other's reps, you definitely also want to get your numbers down at least up to 12 or 15 or how many reps you're planning to do. I have a whole video about the numbers right here as well that you can check out next. All right, so here are five more handy phrases to help you start a conversation in the gym. Was ist deine Lieblingsübung? Wie oft trainierst du? Welche Musik hörst du gerne beim Training? Was machst du nach dem Training? Welche Supplements nimmst du? And yes, we do say supplements in gym lingo. The German word for that would be Nahrungsergänzungsmittel, but that's definitely too long and people don't really use it. But you still find it in written language, like for example, on a product description, or maybe some older generations will also use that term. All right, now that we have discussed a lot of useful phrases, let's take a look at some real life examples. Los geht's. Entschuldigung, könntest du mich spotten, bitte? Klar, kein Problem. Danke. Ja, danke. Jawohl. Okay, danke.
Entschuldigung, brauchst du die Bank? Oh, nee. Kannst du ruhig haben. Kein Problem. Okay, super. Danke schön. Bitte. Entschuldigung, wie viele Sätze hast du noch? Oh, ich habe gerade erst angefangen. Oh, könnten wir uns abwechseln? Ja, sicher kein Problem. Können wir machen. Super, danke schön. Entschuldigung, brauchst du diese Seite? Nee, nee, kannst du ruhig haben. Okay, super, danke schön. If you have found this conversation a bit difficult to understand for your level, as mentioned before, I highly recommend checking out my free training for beginners. I call it my quick start guide for becoming confident and conversational in German. And it's a taster lesson for my paid program. So if you want to learn more from me, then that's the best place to get started. The link to register for free is in the description box below. So here you have it, useful phrases for everyday life in the gym. And I'm curious to know, was ist deine Lieblingsübung? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be back next week with another lesson for you guys with more practical German. Das ist alles für heute. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!